your values and mindset regarding Judge Julia Lipez's sentencing of a child molester. And the subsequent question by Senator John Kennedy. Uh, Mr. Smith molested a four-year-old girl, didn't he? Senator, he was convicted after trial of unlawful sexual contact under Maine law. That's a nice way of putting it. That was a charge, Senator. Right. Uh, Mr. Smith uh, molested a nine-year-old girl, didn't he? Senator, again, he was convicted of uh, unlawful sexual contact against two children. In that case, they did impose the sentence of state request. At oral argument, this is, this is how Mr. Smith's conduct was described. Quote, you heard this testimony. All of the abuse is done in the same fashion. Smith would rub his fingers in a circular motion on the vagina of each child, and he did so repeatedly. Now, where I come from, we call that sexual abuse. You can, you can pretty it up all you want to, Judge. This is what you said at Mr. S Mr. Micah's sentencing. These are your words, not mine. What I can say, you said, is that this is a very tragic situation of a person who has a lot of good in him, a lot of good in him, having done a very represent, reprehensible thing to two young children causing extreme damage. Did I read that correctly? Senator, in that case, I impose a sentence the state requested. Did I read that, your quotation correctly? Senator, that, I think, is a portion of what I said at sentencing. My focus was on... But, but the words I read, are they, are they correct? It, that's what was reported in the paper, Senator. I have not seen a transcript of the sentencing. I bet I, the victims remember, Judge. And then you handed down a sentence. You gave Mr. Uh, Smith 12 years, but you suspended six of them, didn't you? Senator, that was at the recommendation of the state because but they... Did, but it was your ruling. Did you, it, 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 is, is that an accurate statement of your ruling? Senator, I accepted the state's recommendation that six years should be suspended so that Mr. Smith would be required to participate in sex so that, treatment. That, that, I, I appreciate the lengthy explanation, but I think it's a pretty sim simple question. That was your sentence, right? Yes, I imposed the sentence okay. the state requested in that you, case. Judge Julia Lipez's sentence on a child molester has been perceived as overly lenient, sparking agreement with Senator John Kennedy's critique that the judge's decision appears to prioritize the perpetrator's potential over the gravity of the crime and the deep trauma inflicted on the victim. It's crucial to uphold the importance of strict and just punishment for such heinous crimes to maintain public trust in the judicial system and to ensure the safety and welfare of vulnerable individuals, especially children. Judge Lipez's remarks may be seen as an attempt to acknowledge the complexity of human behavior, but they could be interpreted as undermining the severity of the crime and the victim's suffering. Judges must act with sincerity and responsibility, making decisions that reflect a profound understanding of the moral and existential weight of their judgments. The judge's sentence and comments significantly impact public and victim psychology, potentially contributing to feelings of anger, betrayal, and distrust in the judicial system in severe child abuse cases. It's essential to recognize justice and trauma in the victim's healing process. The broad societal reaction to such rulings and attitudes towards crime and punishment must be considered. Senator John Kennedy's questions resonate with the public's demand for accountability and justice, particularly in cases involving vulnerable victims. There is criticism that the judicial system may struggle to balance compassion for the criminal with the need for justice and protection for the victim.